Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about comparative and superlative nouns. Now, often when we talk about comparative and superlatives, we often focus on adjectives and adverbs. But because it's not talked about that often, I wanted to address it today in this lesson. And also because I hear so many people make mistakes with this particular subject. So let's get into it right now. So for a very brief review, for adjectives, we say Mary is taller than Jane. Here is my adjective. And my dog is more intelligent than my turtle. More adjectives there. And then for adverbs, we can say she can run faster than he can, or he will drive more safely than she will. So I think we're familiar with uh, comparative and superlative adjectives and adverbs. What do I mean by comparative nouns? We're going to have a noun after the comparative word more. So for example, the online class has more students than this one does. Or my math teacher gives more homework than my science teacher does. So when it comes to comparative nouns, when the amount increases, it's very easy. All you have to do is add the word more and you're good to go. But it becomes a little bit more tricky when we are talking about amounts that are less. But when the amount decreases, you have to choose between less or fewer. So again, when the amount increases, all you have to do is add the word more. So for example, should I say I have less students this semester than last semester? Because this semester I have 20 students and last semester I had 25, right? Or should I say I have fewer students this semester than last semester? Look at the next pair of sentences. Should I say I have less work this week than last week? Or should I say I have fewer work this week than last week? So the rule here is you're going to use the word less for non-count nouns. So what is a non-count noun? They are nouns that do not usually take the plural form even if we're talking about a lot of it. For example, there is so much traffic. We don't say traffics. I want a lot of money. We don't say monies. I have so much love for my family. We don't say loves, right? So every time you're talking about a smaller amount of a non-count noun, like work, right? I have less work this week than last week. Because work is a non-count noun, you have to use less instead of fewer. Because we're going to use the word fewer to talk about only count nouns. So what are count nouns? Count nouns are nouns that take the plural form when we are talking about more than one. For example, I have fewer students this semester than last semester. I have fewer friends in this country than I do in my home country. A lot of my students would say I have less friends. But again, we're going to use the word less only for non-count nouns. And because friends is a count noun, we're going to use fewer instead of less. So more, if we're talking about an uh, uh, increasing amount, we can use it for both count and non-count nouns. It doesn't matter. But once we're, talking, once we're talking about the amount decreasing, you have to consider whether that noun is a count or non-count noun. When it comes to superlatives, we're going to use the words the most for both count and non-count nouns. So for example, this library offers the most books. Or 
I had the most work last year. Work is a non-count noun and books is a count noun. But either way, when the, inc the amount we're talking about is the highest, then we're going to use the most. It doesn't matter if it's a count or non-count. But when we're talking about the lowest degree, right, then we're going to use the superlative the fewest to talk about count nouns and the least to talk about non-count nouns. For example, this bus has the fewest people because people is clearly a plural form, right? So clearly this is a count noun, therefore I have to use fewest. Or if it's a non-count noun, we can say this freeway always has the least traffic because again, traffic is a noun, but it's not a countable noun. Therefore, we're going to say the least. This slide is just a very brief summary of what we just went over right now. So for both comparative and superlative, you're going to use more or the most for both count noun and non-count noun. So this is pretty easy, right? But you have to think about if your noun is a count or non-count noun when we're talking about lesser amounts or the lowest degree. So again, use fewer to talk about count nouns like people. Use the word less to talk about non-count nouns like money or attention. To your right, use the words the fewest to talk about count nouns, right? And the least to talk about non-count nouns. Let's finish off this lesson with a few exercises. In this exercise, please complete the sentences with the comparative forms of the nouns in the parentheses. And please pause this video for more time. To do this exercise, you need to be able to tell the difference between a count and a non-count noun. And if you are struggling to tell the difference, I will link a video down below that talks about non-count nouns and how to categorize uh, non-count nouns. So that might be helpful for you. So number one, a dime has less value than a quarter because in this sentence, the word value is a non-count noun. Number two, a banana has fewer calories because clearly calories is pluralized so it's a count noun number three japan has fewer people than the united states number four a teacher makes less money than a surgeon because money is a non-count noun, so we're going to use the word less. In this last exercise, please complete the sentences with the superlative forms of the nouns in the parentheses. Number one, last year we had the least rainfall since 40 years ago. I think you could say the most or the least because we're, we don't know where we're talking about. But if you want to go with the lower degree, the lowest degree, we would say the least instead of the fewest because the word rainfall is a non-count noun. So last year we had the least rainfall since 40 years ago. Number two, Wyoming has the fewest people in the United States. Number three, my science teacher gives the most homework or the least homework? Because homework is a non-count noun. Number four, the service call center received, what do you guys think? The fewest complaints. Complaints, right? There's a plural S, 
so it's a count noun. So the service call center received the fewest complaints last year, so we celebrated. The last one, there is the least traffic in the middle of the night because again, the word traffic is non-count noun. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please like this video and consider subscribing to this channel. And as promised, I will link that video down below on non-count nouns. So please give a watch if you are struggling to tell the difference between the two. And I'll see you guys next week.